Chiganola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Thanks for being with us. One of these top races is who will take over next as Oregon governor. And you see the latest results right now. Tina Kotek in the lead, but it's still close between her and Republican Christine Drazen. She's leading by more than 12,000 votes. We know that Betsy Johnson, unaffiliated candidate, did concede earlier tonight. We still have a few hundred thousand votes to be counted, so you can't call this race at all. Our crew spread out across the region tonight, bringing you the latest results as they come in. First, let's take a look at the race for Oregon governor. And let's go to Lisa Balick, who's standing by with the Kotech campaign. <laughs> Sure. Now, we are actually standing by, too, to hear from the candidate herself. We have not seen her in the building tonight yet. She is expected to speak here, perhaps we're told, in about a half hour. But she, like everybody else, has been watching and waiting the returns come in, not wanting to claim victory. And, in fact, earlier today, she had told me that it could likely be at least a day or more before this race is finally decided, and she was prepared for that. We're also waiting to hear from Governor Kate Brown, who is by term limit. It's going to step down from office. Kate Brown, again, also was here a couple of hours ago. I saw her when she came into the building, went behind closed doors. She'll be speaking as well, but it is turning into a long night for everybody here. We're hearing from a lot of Democrats in office. We heard from Senators both Wyden and Merkley. Senator Wyden declaring victory tonight in his race for re-election. So we'll see what happens as the night unfolds, but everybody sort of expected this. That's for sure, at least here in this camp. Back to you. Yeah, no surprise. Prizes here. This is expected to be close, and everyone even said before this night it'll take a few days maybe before we know who's the winner, who the next governor will be. Lisa, thank you. Now let's switch over to our Liz Birch live now from Silverton, and she is with the Christine Drazen campaign. Liz? Liz, you guys said it. It's really just too close to call, too early at this point with so many uncounted votes, and we have not yet heard from the candidate herself, Christine Drazen, but we did hear from her co-campaign chair, who said they feel encouraged and said that Drazen herself feels great right now. We did ask her campaign where she is. They said she's in the war room watching those results come in, and we can't expect to hear from her sometime in the 10 o'clock hour. They say it will be before 11 p.m., but certainly a lot of enthusiasm from her supporters here. If any Thing, they seem more excited as the night goes on. And of course, this could be an historic race for Oregon. If she is elected as the next governor, she would be the first Republican governor in nearly 40 years. We heard from her last night at her final campaign event in Canby, Oregon, and we heard her say that she really wants to change the status quo of the blue leadership that's been in this state for many decades at this point and talked about how she would differentiate herself from outgoing Governor Kate Brown. Brown really wanted to emphasize that she would be very different than the leadership we've seen before. But at this point, we just don't know what will happen. Uh, we are also looking at potentially a late night here in Silverton. Yeah, it could be a late night. Could be several more days. We know Liz Birch thinks. One candidate we have heard from already tonight, Betsy Johnson. Joelle Jones was there as Betsy conceded earlier tonight. Joelle, what's the latest there at her campaign headquarters? Well, Jeff, Liz, the mood is much more somber here at the Columbia County Fairgrounds where Betsy Johnson did deliver a speech officially bowing out of this race. She thanked her staff and supporters while also acknowledging that she simply doesn't have the votes to pull through this race or compete with the other two candidates. Still, she says she regrets nothing. Take a listen. I'll begin by stating the obvious. It's more fun to win than to lose. But when I decided to run for governor without any party affiliation, to run as an Oregonian, not as a D or an R, I knew the odds were very long and I didn't care. With vote counts underway and current polls showing Johnson lagging behind the other two candidates, Betsy did address the fact that she isn't going to be able to pull through while also telling the crowd that she regrets nothing. She told her, us during that speech that, you know, there were moments that she choked back tears, but she still said she feels like this campaign was a success as it created a conversation bridging the gap between Democrats and Republicans, a conversation she says she hopes will continue after her her much long needed break. Reporting live in St. Helens, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen Six News. All right, Joelle and Betsy Johnson proving it is so hard to be an independent, unaffiliated candidate in a general election.
very hard to do. Right. And now let's switch over to how we are covering 